welcome students back to the module on towards effective leadership today we are going to talk about behavioral theories in our previous lectures we have talked about what are the different types of theories pertaining to leadership and then how till 1970s the theories have emerged and out of those theories we have talked about one particular theory that is universalist theory now today we are going to talk about behaviorist theories now behaviorist theories are a little extensive we are going to break behaviorist theories into two parts a part of it i will cover them today and another part that is the second part of behaviorist theories we will deal with it in the next lecture now what are these behavioral theories of leadership with regard to universalist theories we have seen that the general kind of outlook that the theories have proposed was not acceptable and was criticized so this failure of universalist theories has led to a change in the focus of the studies altogether now again the research has turned towards who are effective leaders earlier it was talked that those who possess these 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 traits are effective leaders but now or the people who possess such natural abilities are effective leaders or someone who is uh, born with these natural abilities are effective leaders someone who possesses these traits are effective leaders but now again the theory has turned towards who are effective leaders and what are the kinds of behavior among them which lead to the success or which have led them towards the success path in this there were two research projects which were done regarding leadership studies one was conducted at ohio state university and the other at university of michigan both of these have documented new research now at this point in time so in today's lecture we are going to talk about the main findings of these studies about ohio state studies today and in the next lecture we'll be talking about michigan state studies let me tell you both these studies both ohio state studies and michigan state studies have almost similar conclusions related to the leaders concerning leaders their behavior and the effective leadership that they perform and the effective leadership that they demonstrate theories based on these studies and focusing on the particular behaviors which were related to effective leadership are called behavioral leadership theories so let's start off with ohio state leadership studies so you may look at the slide using self reports and detailed observations of leader behavior both from the leaders themselves and their subordinates the research team at this university accumulated a list of hundreds of leader behaviors then they used factor analysis and found that these hundreds of behavior could be narrowed into two general categories the first one is titled as initiating structure and the second one was consideration so these two have evolved as major categories of behavior so what do these mean we'll start off with initiating structure initiating structure includes leader activities which define and organize or structure the work situation they define the work situation they organize the work situation and thus bring a structure to the work situation for example assigning specific tasks defining work group roles meeting deadlines making task related decisions and maintaining standards of work performance all these put together come into the picture of initiating structure then the second one is consideration this describes behavior that show a genuine concern this is the important term over here a genuine concern for the feelings attitudes and needs of subordinates by developing rapport with them and showing them mutual respect and trust so consideration describes all the consideration includes all these that i have just described so behavioral theories talk about consideration behavior which is concern for feelings and initiating structure which is defining roles and bringing a structure into the organization for this they have used questionnaire to assess employee perceptions and also the other way too so this evolved two leadership forms that is consideration behavior and initiating structure a little more about consideration behavior 
It includes activities such as asking subordinates for their opinions and input. You are looking at the involvement of subordinates over here. Showing concern for the feelings of workers. Encouraging communication from and between subordinates. Bolstering workers self confidence and job satisfaction and implementing their suggestions. All these become integral part of consideration behavior. So, the researchers of this university concluded that these two dimensions that is initiating structure and consideration were independent of each other. It is not necessary that these two are integrated, they may be independent of each other. Both categories of leader behavior are associated with effective leadership in their own ways. But it is not necessary that they coexist. That is, initiating structure and consideration need not coexist. They can be independent. In other words, some effective leaders are high on initiating structure alone, and some others display only consideration behavior. But at the same time, some people exhibit both as well. I repeat, some people may demonstrate only initiating structure or majority of their uh, behavior includes initiating structure. For some people, majority of their behavioral patterns may include consideration. But for some people, there may be these two together too. Please look at this slide. Studies say that initiating structure has been correlated not only with effective work performance, but also with lower group member job satisfaction. And corresponding increases in turnover. You see that both can happen. There can be something which is very desirable which may happen, something which is desirable to the organization, but when, when it comes to the individual level, it may not be very desirable. So, such things happen, thus work performance may increase, but group member job satisfaction may not be that high. But at the same time, there may be an increase in turnover. On the other hand, for consideration leader behavior, researchers have shown that there is a positive correlation to job satisfaction, but on the other hand, it may be negatively correlated with work productivity. You can look at the slide, the diagrammatic representation. There are two leadership behaviors which have been identified, initiating structure and consideration. And then they have used two types of questionnaires. They developed two types of questionnaires to assess leader behavior. One was LBDQ that is leader behavior description questionnaire and this measured subordinates perception of leader behavior. On the other hand, there was this LOQ that is leader opinion questionnaire which measured leader perception of his own style. Now, later on after the findings have been open to all, then a meta analysis of many studies which have been done over a long period of time suggested that both initiating structure and consideration are related to both performance and group member satisfaction in the expected relationships. So, it is not that any one of them alone is related, but both are related in their own ways. So, consideration was more strongly related to satisfaction, initiating structure was more strongly related to performance. So, these have been the results of studies which have been done later. Now, just as we had strong criticism for universalist theories in the previous lecture, there is also some criticism about behavioral theories as well. Especially with Ohio State University findings, though this particular research has stimulated a great deal of research on effective leader behaviors, it also like universalist theories has been branded to be too simplistic. Then two categories of leader behaviors may or may not be related to certain indicators of leader effectiveness. This theory falls short when it comes to making firm predictions about the relationships between the leader behaviors and the specific work outcomes in all types of working situations. So, students today we have discussed about certain aspects of behavioral theories of effective leadership. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about the next part of behavioral theories as part 2. Today we have talked about Ohio State studies and in the next lecture we will be talking about Michigan State studies which are a part of behavioral theories. Thank you for being with us. We will meet again in the next session.